Welcome back, everybody. Well, we're going back to the year 2000. Now, we're dipping into 99, and we'll dip into 2001. But mainly, we're looking at 2000. And these were the pavement pounders. It was a line of uh, trucks with cars. And they're still producing vehicles like these, not under the pavement pounder name. And I'm not sure uh, how cool those new ones are compared to these older ones. Uh, the new ones are pretty cool. There's lots of uh, cool stuff coming out. Uh, these ones feature cars that had already been issued in the basic line and then they put these in the packages with special paint schemes on them you see that's a t8 so that is a treasure hunt and yes they did have treasure hunts back then in the hauler series and they had another scorch and scooter treasure hunt that i never got I'll show you these ones because I really like the cab design on it. And I love the older 30s, 40s, well, Art Deco design. I don't know, Art Deco maybe came out in the late 20s, throughout the 30s, 40s, but. Now these ones I never took out of the package. And this one included it. the first model of the Miata that Hot Wheels made. And uh, a little hard to see in there, but. And on the back, it's actually copyright 1999. So Arco Toys. So they were making the vehicles for Hot Wheels, I guess, the haulers, and then they would include the basic line Hot Wheels in. Well, there's the picture of the cars that you could get. And so, that's a cool looking cab. I like COE cabs. And we have a old hot rod style cab. And a more modern cab. And we have the Art Deco design that I love. And so I managed to get, well, eight of these. Now this one is copyright 2001. And I lined them up according to all the artwork, basically. So I believe these came out. And you see those are similar there. So that's why these would be the later ones. And then these ones had the pictures of the, the truck on the package that was different from the 99 copyright. Now I'll show you this uh, Porsche, which wasn't one of their better castings. It almost looks like a tune series. But I wanted to keep all these in the package because uh, I thought they were pretty special having this whole collection together. And of course, not having shelf space. They'd have to be stored in the box anyway, so. And as you can see at the time, it was from Zellers, $6.99. Zellers is long gone now. And slightly different vehicles on the back. Well, at least different colors of the cabs. 55 Chevy was in the hot rod, so of course different colors for the cars as well. So we're going to put those aside. And then we'll look at this packaging. So this now has copyright 2000. And there's a continuation of the vehicles. So of course we got the Corvette, 58 Corvette, old times transport. You know, the bodies are metal and of course the chassis is plastic, no interiors, plastic windows. 
trailer's plastic. But very cool nonetheless. And then we got the Viper, which again is not one of the best castings, but cool enough. And since it came with my favorite cab, well, I had to get it. So let's put that up there. That should stay. And then continued on again. 30s car show. So this is appropriate combination here. And then you see more cars. Here's the treasure hunt. Right, so now they expanded the line so we got more vehicles. And of course I had to get the Corvette and that's the treasure hunt I have here. So lots of cool stuff. American muscle. With the Toyota. That'd be nice to have, but never picked that one up. And then the treasure hunt. So of course again, this would be like your standard treasure hunt. And same vehicles on the back. But you know, there's the copyright 2000 and And then here's 55 Chevy. That casting has been around for a long time and I'm not sure if they've discontinued it, but of course you got a really cool cab on it. And of course the same vehicles on the back. So let's put these up here and these three stack all right without falling down. The other ones wouldn't stack, but so here's the final one. And that's the Twin Mill 2. And of course, I'm not sure if this was the final casting of the series, but you see on the back, of course, the range expanded again, different vehicles. And it's copyright on the end of the package, 2001. Okay, well, this is basically expands from end of 99, I guess, to beginning of 2001. Those are the vehicles with the same cab that I love. Now, in between, like in this package, I got one right here. Can you guess what car it is? Well, of course, I just had to pick it up because I love Camaros. So we'll drive this one out. And there we have my beautiful Camaro. Now, well, I'm trying to pop it down, but let's pull the Camaro out. Because this is a very beautiful casting and great paint scheme. It almost looks like a Fast and Furious type logo. Of course, the engine opens up, but this one doesn't open too far, so I won't force it. Metal chassis. I hope those sirens aren't coming for me. I heard how crazy it was in my collection, so better pick them up. Anyways, so that pops down. And so, of course, the trailer's plastic. But got, got cool wheels on it. Here you have a metal body. The scoop and the grill and bumper are actually metal, so that's pretty nice. Get that piece of dirt off there. Oh, oh. So there's the bottom of the chassis. So of course I love the Camaro. So that's beautiful car to have. Oh. Now the ramp is really solid so yeah, 
snap it back into place. Put that aside. And uh, in this packaging, I have another one. Hey, it looks the same. Because it is, it's the other Camaro. So this is very nice to have as well. This one, the hood doesn't open too far either, so. It's copyright 1998 on the bottom now for this one, so. Not sure what the deal is with that. 1998, so they might have changed the casting a bit. I don't know. That's really odd, but we got the trailer here. The truck and trailer. Now this, the bumper and the front grille is metal, so that's pretty cool. Metal body. <laughs> and again, nothing much on the bottom. Very cool. And so I thought these were really nice. Cool collectible back then. And so that's my collection. Now I have more, obviously. <laughs> I wouldn't stop collecting just these ones. So hope you enjoy these. Leave a comment, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I'd really appreciate it, and I'll catch you in the next one.